From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on your MTN statewide news on this Thursday. I'm Andrea Lutz. President Joe Biden will deliver his first primetime address to the nation since taking office tonight. The president is marking the one year anniversary since the coronavirus was declared a worldwide pandemic and the country began shutting down. Skylar Henry has more details from Capitol Hill. President Biden will mark the one year anniversary of the coronavirus pandemic by remembering nearly 530,000 American lives lost and looking ahead to the future. I'm going to launch the next phase of the COVID response and explain what we will do as a government and what we will ask of the American people. Wednesday, the White House announced the purchase of 100 million more vaccine doses, providing hope in the fight against the virus. I am ready to uh, get back to some normalcy. Students are starting to go back to school. Businesses are letting in more customers and states are lifting some restrictions. There is light at the end of this dark tunnel in the past year, but we cannot let our guard down now or assume that victory is inevitable. Financial help for millions of Americans is coming, with President Biden set to sign the nearly $2 trillion coronavirus relief bill Congress passed tomorrow. We can do big things, important things in this country. The new package includes an extension of unemployment benefits. Welcome news for the 712,000 people who filed new unemployment claims last week. That's 42,000 fewer new claims than the week before. I know people call this a stimulus package, but in so many ways, this has been about relief. People are just trying to survive. About 10 million people are unemployed right now, compared to about 6 million who were unemployed before the start of the pandemic. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill. A new CBS poll shows 75% of all Americans, including 46% of Republicans, approve of the American Rescue Plan, which President Biden is signing into law. The nation's former presidents are part of a new ad campaign to build confidence in COVID vaccines. The campaign features Jimmy Carter, Bill Clinton, George Bush and Barack Obama, their wives also included. The spot includes images from the former presidents receiving their vaccines and encouraging people to roll up their sleeves and do your part. The ads were put together by the Ad Council and the COVID Collective. Starting next week, Missoula County will transition into Phase 1B plus of the COVID-19 vaccine distribution plan. Phase 1B plus expands to people ages 60 and older, as well as those ages 16 to 59 with certain health conditions. Appointments will be open today at 1 p.m. and residents can call 258-INFO until 5 o'clock today to get more information. Those in Ravalli County providing COVID vaccines are running into a new problem. It has to deal with sorting through multiple lists where people have signed up to get their shots but have already been vaccinated. Ravalli County health officials began taking names of people wanting vaccines several weeks ago. The response was strong and thousands signed up. Then at the same time, other lists were developed by pharmacies and other outlets. So at this point, everyone is having a hard time sorting through those names, finding people on multiple lists who have already received their shots. We are getting to the place in those lists where there are more people signed up on it that have gotten doses somewhere else or that are repeats than there are people who are still needing a uh, vaccine. That's great for us in a way because that means we're getting a dent, we're knocking it out but it's problematic in that it's taking us longer and longer to book those appointments because we're going through a lot of phone calls just trying to find, you know, a handful of bodies that are prepared. The county's software doesn't allow names to be actually removed. So now officials say the county still wants people to register to make sure everyone does get the vaccine if they want one. Yellowstone County announced a plan for its first shipment of 1000 single shot Johnson and Johnson vaccine doses. Those will go to people who might have a hard time making it to a second appointment. Groups including homebound individuals, the homeless, residents of senior living facilities and jail and prison inmates. So far, over 47,000 Yellowstone County residents have been given their first shot of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. Over 19,000 
50,000 are fully vaccinated. And Senator John Tester announced that Montana is set to receive over 24,000 first doses of the COVID vaccine next week. As of this morning, more than 340,000 doses have been administered in Montana. Over 126,000 individuals are fully immunized. Well, it seems that Town Pump is working to clean up a large diesel fuel spill that's threatening to leak into a nearby lake in Butte. On January 30th, about 485 gallons of diesel spilled at the gas station from an accidental overfill by a delivery truck. Some of the gas flowed into storm drains and engineers put down booms to capture the fuel and prevent it from leaking into the nearby Blacktail Creek. We will have everything remediated to 100%. Um, you know, we'll be removing soil and replacing that and hauling that to appropriate areas. And everything as part of the remediation plan is uh, subject to approval by the Department of Environmental Quality. It could be several more weeks, though, before that cleanup is fully complete. There's now a digital way to help Columbia Falls police in their fight against crime in the community. There is a new app that you can download right to your smartphone. Those with the police department say the new app has been up and running for about a year and the effectiveness of it has helped officers fight crime in a number of different ways. The department partnered up with tip 411 to create that app and residents who don't have a smartphone can still send anonymous tips directly through the police department's website. Love Inc. in partnership with multiple churches in Gallatin County will be giving away free Easter baskets this year. The organization is looking for people in the community to donate candy and small toys to fill their baskets. It is the second year the organization has delivered free Easter baskets to anyone in the community. Their tradition started last year, though, during the COVID-19 pandemic. And that's when officials say they wanted to spread some joy during a difficult time. I remember a mom had told her son and daughter, you know, we're going to have to cancel Easter this year. And then to see that she was able to get a basket for free, to be able to get those and give them Easter morning just really brought a lot of hope when it seemed pretty hopeless. You can drop off donations at their location on Discovery Drive in Bozeman and sign up for a free Easter basket at Love Inc.'s website. The sign up does close though on March 25th. So if you are passing through Billings, you might want to take a quick stop at the Cabela's there. Three endangered pallid sturgeon fish now live at the aquarium at the store. The sturgeon are one of the oldest species of fish and they've been around for about a million years. They are a rare sight to see though, even in captivity. It took Cabela's staff 10 months to file all of the necessary paperwork with local and federal governments before they were allowed to bring those fish to the store. Very interesting fish. Um, they're part of the Ray family from what I understand. Um, been, in, uh, been in and around Montana for a long, long time. From what I understand, their lineage goes back 200 million years. So it's, it's kind of neat that although they're on the endangered species list, uh, that we get to house three of them here at Cabela's. And the sturgeon were introduced to the main aquarium just yesterday, but they were separated in a different tank. That will happen for about 30 days before they can join the other fish, which they soon will. We do have more ahead on today's new news, including this, a prestigious honor given out to only a few musicians. But we'll tell you how two from Montana will participate in the All National Honor Ensemble. But first, we are going to check in on the weather out there in Montana with Miller Robson with your statewide weather forecast.